Hello, Reading community. We hope you had a great week. So let's start with some updates. First, February Vacation Academy. We are thrilled to offer Vacation Academy uh, to all of our students as a way to accelerate learning. As you'll see here in this flyer, there's uh, an opportunity for elementary age students, grades two through five, middle school math, and also high school PSAT, uh, SAT, and MCAS support. So please sign your students up uh, for this exciting opportunity. Uh, for the opportunity to learn from some of our best RMHS staff as well. Should be fun. Uh, also, as we've seen recently, a uptick in COVID-19 cases in our community. You'll see here a FAQ document that's been compiled by our Director of Nursing, Mary Juliana, which uh, looks at prevalence data, school-specific vaccination data, exposure, symptoms, testing, travel, and vaccines. Uh, so check out some of those FAQs. Also, last for updates, uh, Reading and Reading. We will host our next Reading and Reading meeting on December 21st from 6 to 7.30 p.m. This meeting will feature presentations by uh, Renee Lamaro, our special education literacy coach, and Allison Straker, our, our ELA uh, curriculum coordinator. So uh, we'd love to see you all there. Uh, and Thanks to all those who attended our last Reading and Reading meeting. Shifting to shout outs, we'd like to start with a shout out to our RMHS uh, Gender and Sexuality Alliance, our GSA which is a student-led group that practice advocacy and action in support of our LGBTQ plus youth in our community. So this is a group that aims to empower and support youth in the community by raising awareness, petitioning for their own needs, and educating themselves and the community on issues and challenges facing the LGBTQ plus community. So over the past few weeks, the RMHS GSA has met with our principals uh, and talked through ways that we can create more welcoming and inclusive spaces for our students and also held a candlelight vigil uh, commemorating uh, transgender people who have lost their lives as a result of violence. So we stand up as a district and school leadership team with our GSA and appreciate their support and advocacy in our community. Also a shout out to uh, all of our school communities. Our district uh, leadership team has been encouraged by a lot of the coding activities that we've seen, innovative hands-on coding activities for our students. So as I'm speaking here, you'll see some pictures from our 2021 Hour of Code, which is a partnership between the Coolidge Middle School and Birch Meadow Elementary School, where together they celebrate Computer Science Week by doing an Hour of Code together. Eighth grade students prepare a mini lesson on their favorite Hour of Code online activity that they then teach to a small group of fourth and fifth grade students. The middle school students walk over to Birch Meadow one December morning to teach their lesson. And this tradition has been going on for five years and they're hopeful it can continue on in the future. So shout out to all of our Birch Meadow Coolidge uh, students who have uh, participated in this activity and to Mr. Darling for helping to lead this. Also, you'll see here, I'll leave you with a, uh, a video of a uh, first grade coding activity at Wood End and you'll see some of our first graders interacting with our B-Bots. Check it out. And thank you, Ms. Norcross, for uh, leading these activities with our students and embedding this part of the day-to-day -day experience for our students. And lastly, to close, uh, we've been really encouraged by uh, seeing all the holiday concerts uh, over the past few weeks across all of our different school communities and seeing our students showcase their skills and talents. We'd like to leave you with a couple of videos from some performances from the Parker Middle School uh, and also from our RMHS Select Choir who performed at our recent school committee meeting. So thank you to all of those students who helped bring some holiday cheer. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh.
We hope you all had a great week. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Uh, go Rockets.